Export. Russia has been massing troops on the Ukrainian border for months now. And Parisia Young from our observers team here at France 24 has been looking at some of the satellite imagery for us. She joins me now. Uh, Parisa, first of all, tell us what we can learn from these satellite images. Right. So we've actually been looking at the Russian camps and military bases that have been amassing for months now around the borders of Ukraine. And you've seen a big increase in Russian military presence. And if you look at this map here, you can see that there's a buildup in Russia on the east, as well as in Belarus to the north and south in Crimea. But actually, what the satellite images from the last couple of days are showing us that some of these large Russian military bases are actually being cleared out. So one that we saw in the satellite imagery is in Soloti, and that was uh, an image taken on February 20th, and it's about 24 kilometers from the northeastern border of Ukraine. So this image here actually shows the camp with long lines of vehicles visible and they're there in the snow. But then a second image there, it was actually taken the same day, and you can see this big area that's been completely cleared of snow, and all of those vehicles are gone. So it's been completely cleared out, and Russia did announce a partial withdrawal of its uh, troops on February 15th, but there's actually been no evidence so far that they're actually moving out of the border zone and sending their troops home. So do we know where the troops are going? So one thing that's been happening is actually they're moving away from these large military camps and into smaller camps, and a lot of those are moving closer and closer to the Ukrainian border. So we've seen some satellite imagery like this one here. Um, it was actually found by an online investigator who saw this photo and he located it to a farm, uh, near a farm in Kazinka. And it's actually in the Belgrade district and that's 15 kilometers or so from the Ukrainian border. And then we have one other image of one of these small camps. It was just um, a satellite image of some tents and some vehicles that have actually been hidden among different trees. And that was somewhere around 23 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Now, beside these camps that you're talking about here, do the satellite photos tell us anything else of concern? So something that we're worried about and we've seen circulating a lot on social media is uh, some pictures of vans, which a lot of military experts on Twitter are saying are vans that could be used to hold prisoners of war. Um, so these images that you see here were are some of those vans, and they were near the border in Belgrade. And it's also interesting, you can see the letter Z on these vans. And that's really something we've been seeing a lot in other uh, Russian military vehicles that have been deployed near Ukraine in these zones. Um, and apparently this Z is a symbol that's been used a lot to differentiate Russian military equipment, um, like these tanks, from Ukrainian military equipment, which oftentimes looks very similar. Um, and we have found other images that are shared on TikTok yesterday. Um, and they showed, like this one here, you can see a line of military ambulances. Of course, you can figure out that that's an ambulance based on that red cross on the front. And then one last troubling thing that we've been seeing is this, a field hospital um, set up in Belgrade. It was about 37 kilometers from the border. There's the satellite imagery of, of that there. And we know that this is a field hospital because of those tents that you can see in the center, and they're set up in that really distinctive cross shape. Um, so this was taken on uh, the 21st of February. And we know that it's a, a military hospital because it looks a lot like this one, which is another uh, Russian military field hospital tent. Um, and this one was actually in Nagorno-Karabakh a few months ago. So all this comes together. If they're setting up field hospitals and ambulances out in the zone, that all says that, of course, they're preparing to have some sort of casualties. Parisia Young, really interesting stuff. Thanks for your reporting.